What's going on guys, JT's the latest Mustang and Automotive News. I did a five day road trip in a 2022 Ford Bronco Sasquatch package with a 2.7 liter twin turbo V6, 10 speed automatic, hard top, 300 horsepower, satin black wrap, miles per gallon, zero to 60 times, took it off road, took it up Mount Washington. Let's get into the video and look at the cool footage that I got. And I just wanted to share the driving experience from a Mustang owner driving a Ford Bronco. Would I think that the vehicle is hard to drive? Do the tires on the Sasquatch package make the miles per gallon terrible? How does it ride on the highway? How does it ride with four people in the vehicle? Is it worth the money? Is it worth the weight? Does it drive like a Jeep? you know very tinny inside like you're in a tin can is it loud inside road noise with the hard top removable do the door started popping when i would open it because of someone didn't tighten it down well previous to me renting the vehicle so we do take it off road let's get into it and talk about it All right, guys, so we're actually in sport mode and we're gonna do a quick zero to 60 in the rain. This is four wheel automatic, three, two, one, go. 16 pounds of boost, 62, 62. All right, hopefully they don't get arrested. Next to the cemetery, this thing feels plenty fine. I've seen more boost just by rolling on to the throttle, watch this. Like I think we only had 15 there, but watch this. It spikes up to 18 when you get on the accelerator immediately. So there's plenty of power left in these motors. I mean, they're extremely powerful. Even this 2.7, put it back into a normal mode here. Um, plenty of power, plenty of torque. This truck is actually quick for a little truck like this. Um, it's, a, it's a ton of fun to drive. And I just, I love this. I want one of these, honestly. Um, yeah, go drive one if you haven't driven one. It's a great little truck. They're fast, they're peppy, they look good. Everyone loves them. They're amazing off-road. I just don't see any downside to the truck. And it's got a lot of technical, it's got a lot of electronics and features and new things and things that can break. I could see that, you know, I could see that. I mean, twin turbocharged, 10-speed automatic, a lot of digital stuff everywhere. A lot of things, a lot of latches and openings and electric, electrical pieces and doodads everywhere so i could see that being part of the downside um but that's what makes it advanced and fun and fast so there you go all right quick zero to 60 ready one two three go oh okay <laughs> so yesterday the door started popping in the hinge. I don't know. Jake Teaser Lace, Mustang Auto Mode News. We rented the two-door Bronco Sasquatch with 2.7. We've had an issue. So here's the issue. Opening the door, you get a... I was pretty worried about this because we got this off tour. I was like, I already broke the guy's car. But I found the problem. So supposedly this is a tip from Ford. So to let you know that the door is not properly attached go way under here see this this door bolt is loose look at this I was driving around like this this comes with it from Ford they have the actual toolkit for you to do this it's just a safety feature what they say is a safety feature well and let's go ahead and get this good and tightened up like new the dash has a lot of buttons, a lot of bells and whistles, and I just wanted to show you the drive modes, which is down on this twisty goat mode selector. And on the dash, even in this cloth seat, Bronco, the dash still has lots of stuff going on. So let's check it out. So there's your mode selector. And right now I'm in sport. And so when you put it into sport, it goes into four wheel automatic. So now we're going to go back into normal. Uh, sorry, eco. Why not? Let's go to eco. So we are now back into too high. Okay. And I'm going to turn on the defrost because it's getting a little frosty in here. Okay. And you can see the power distribution is to the rear wheels. Okay. Let's go back into normal. And the throttle response is 
shall we say, easy. Now we're normal. And you can see in the dash, the power distribution. Okay, and we are still in two wheel high. So there is the pitch and roll. And then from there we have degrees uh, of angle, battery voltage, trans temp 169, I've been driving it for a bit, oil temp 185, boost, because we're sitting still nothing. All right, so normal mode, too high, just in drive. And um, here is all of the front locking diff, rear locking diff, this is to turn it locks that inside rear so when you turn the wheel the inside rear stays in place and it helps you make a sharper turn that's just traction control here are all of your auxiliary switches pretty awesome and then it's also easy to undo this top from what i understand you just undo this probably twist this and you're good to go guys i'm actually really happy with this bronco um you have your storage here. You can undo all of this. You have your handle here. You can undo this. You have your lighting. I mean, this thing is awesome. I'm going to be honest. You have, this is a two door and it actually has quite a bit of back seat storage and more in the trunk. Um, for a two door, it's big. You have a big compartment here. And I just, I really like the truck. I really, really, really like the truck. It is fun. And it's fast. This one has the 2.7. And guys, there's so much more stuff to go through the dash here. Um, if we really wanted to go through the dash here, we could go through. It does have the fuel economy. And my fuel economy has been, on average, about 21 on that last trip. We did a road trip up to Auto Road. So this thing is getting great gas mileage, you know, considering what it is so let's just go down to gauges now i like to drive this thing i just realized i like to drive this thing over here in sport it does put it into four wheel automatic but it just feels so much better so let's go for a little cruise i've got 35 inch wheel and tires. The, the turning radius on this thing is awesome I mean, dude, this thing is rolling for this big, heavy truck. Um, I mean, I'm happy with this thing. I, this thing is fun. The Bronco Raptor would be even better. It would be even faster, I'm assuming, with bigger tires and 400 horsepower instead of 330. But honestly, guys, honestly, this thing is a blast. We are on Mount Washington on the auto road we are about 5,000 feet above sea level the dash on the bronco is telling me the digital dash is telling me that we are only three percent grade right now but we were at nine percent grade check out the views over here this mountain this landscape the clouds are rolling in yeah now we're about to go up this incline again we're doing a quick review of the truck today i've had this truck for about three days now and it's been nothing short of exceptional it's fun to drive it looks good everyone loves this vehicle as you can see we're literally going up at eight percent grade right now and we got the ac on and we're just cruising up and it's just amazing i just went up a, a, a hill that was extremely steep and i'll post that photograph up um, or that video of me doing a basically climbing up this i mean this thing is really 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 good for uh, rock climbing, off-roading. I mean, this thing's exceptional, but it's awesome. That's why it's so much better than the Jeep is because it can do the rock uh, crawling and off-roading like the Jeep, but it will also be a good road trip vehicle because I've taken this on about 300 mile, this will be a 300 or 400 mile round trip. And it's actually just been exceptional. 20 miles per gallon, essentially. It's fast, it's fun to drive, everyone likes it. I mean, between the Mach 1 and the Sasquatch Bronco, 
it's hard to decide honestly i would like to have both of these and i would absolutely just drive this vehicle every day um, you just get in get out it's got cloth i appreciate the cloth seats and the weathertech floor mats these are removable and um, it's just pretty much awesome we're going to pull over into this lookout and we're going to hop out and we're just going to give you a couple panning exterior shots of this vehicle so you can see exactly where we are and the kind of trip that we're taking this on another Jeep let's see looks gnarly on video but in person so on video that looks like nothing and then we're actually at a let's see what angle we're at here that's is a 15 degree we're at a 15 degree slope right now this is 15 degrees 16 degrees All right guys, so we're just wrapping up the five day trip in the Ford Bronco. This is the two door Sasquatch Bronco with the 2.7. This is exactly the vehicle that I wanted to spec out and I finally got the opportunity to actually drive one. And it was just an awesome trip. I think I averaged like 20 mi 21 miles per gallon, but that's not the fun part. The fun part is like putting it in sport mode, ripping it around a little bit. Um, I'm in eco mode, it's getting like 30 miles per gallon right now. It's just great. It has like Apple CarPlay, locking front and rear differentials. Um, like it's not crap, but it, it's, it locks the in, inside tire so you can turn tight if you need to make a tight turn. You have all these auxiliary switches up here, which are awesome. You can hook up all sorts of stuff. I mean, it's just these tops are removable. 
I mean, it just looks amazing also. Everyone stops and like wants to talk about it. So this thing is kind of like the Mach 1. Um, I've got a 2021 Mach 1 with a handling package and people love the Mach 1 almost as much as they love essentially the Bronco. It's kind of like a toss up between the Bronco and the Mach 1. People just love both of them. So um, I've had a great time driving this and it, it rips, it's peppy, it's fast, it looks good, everyone likes it. So overall, I give this thing like a 10 out of 10. I, I don't feel like it's missing anything, honestly. It is what it is. I, can, I know that it drives better than a Jeep. Now, if you're gonna compare it to like a Toyota Land Cruiser or something like that, 10 years down the road, this thing might not quite be as reliable, but this thing is like faster it looks better, way more aggressive. I started looking at Land Cruisers again and they look like a soccer mom uh, vehicle almost compared to this, which is hilarious. So it's a lot of fun to drive. It looks great, it sounds good. Zero to 60 is good. The, the off-road performance is freaking amazing. And um, I just had a great time driving one. I wanna spec one out when I get back home from the trip and see if I can pick one up for a decent price. So. Thanks for watching, guys. If you want to keep updated with the latest Mustang and automotive news, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.